Good evening, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be Infuse versus Game Limited. Game Limited, one of the local teams here. Well, I say local, they're Belgium. So it's not really local. It's, uh, it's a whole different country. It's uh, Infused are probably the favourites coming into this one, but uh, they are both in the same group as Fnatic and Reason Gaming. So, basically, either of them are in trouble. <laughs> it has to be said. But Infused, they're going to be playing Reason Gaming first thing tomorrow morning, so who knows? Stranger things have happened. It certainly happened with Infused before. Over at the Experience 2008, they caused an upside, knocking Dignitas out of the tournament. And at the moment, we're just waiting for the knife round to complete. Puny goes down to Chaos. Let's give you a quick roster run now. For Infused, it's going to be Rob, Wannabe, Chenson, Puny, and Pucker. As that throws myself out. For Game Limited, it's going to be Chaos 6, Cetaz, Seidels. Seidel? 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 Seidel lols. Seidels. They can't, they can't put too many letters in their names. Seidels, Cross, and Padder. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Here we go, we're going live. It is going to be... Yes, you guessed it! It's Strike again! <laughs> Wonderful! You've got to love this veto system. So, I'm expecting to see... Thank God it's best of three, that's all I can say at the <laughs> knockout stages. I'm telling you, Strike will still be in there every single time. Here we go, we're live. And game limited on the defensive side. Infused choosing to attack. And a very aggressive defense here from CTAS. And this is possibly going to be a. Uh, there's an A push straight down the street by the looks of it. Infused work their way in there. Cross and padded is there. Pucker goes down. Net sidles. Sidles with the scope. Tries to do a flick shot, missed it. Puny is there, we've missed it twice. Ah, and he gets taken down for the trouble there. Rob is there. It's Puny and Rob though remaining. Rob, last man standing now with the bomb at statue. Cross and Padder. Both looking around. Game limited. Surely gonna pick up the first round, but there's Padder. And that is the first round. Two game limited, infused up against it from the start. They are choosing the attacking side though, so you kind of expect it. You never know. It is certainly the easier side. Loose, loosely used term on uh, strike these days. It's a very well balanced map, which is why I used to lord it up a while back, and now suddenly everybody's playing it, which has kind of gone from everyone playing Crash to everyone playing Strike. It's just the way I think it is. Chaos 6 catching a glimpse of someone in the back there. Didn't choose to take the shot. Infused have gone down heavily here, trying to push into the A site. They're getting tagged from the side. Pucker's in trouble. Puny with him. Puny goes down to Seidel's sniper rifle. Pucker, last man standing. It's a 4 and one He's running around <coughs> like a headless chicken, but he manages to take down Chaos 6 full of his troubles. But that is the second round to Game Limited. Coming up after this will be enemy territory. It is going to be the ESL final, I believe, that Tosspot will be doing finally. He's actually getting on the mic at last. But uh, And then, obviously, coming up after that, we're going to have Power Gaming versus Loaded. Woo! Loaded on the couch right now watching this game. Thoroughly enthused by the fact that they've got an hour and a half delay. <laughs> I would say they're struggling to stay awake, but they're kind of coming into their own time zone now. <laughs> they've got a bit of an advantage, perhaps. I don't know. Rob. With the shot. KL6 in a little bit of trouble. Been tagged up on street. It's a three on three. Rob Puny and Pucker. Wanna be in Chenson going down very early on once again this round. Third round running. The A site doesn't seem to be working for them. KL6 pushing well up that street. Give their positions away because they are in another room and I don't think they can hear a damn thing up there. Assuming those speakers haven't been plugged in just yet, in which case I'm giving all their positions away, which could be a problem. Let's have a look around. Puny with the bomb. Oh, nice shot onto Padder there. Just flicks it across towards the bass. Tries to go for a lucky shot through the smoke towards the bins. He sidles the scope they're waiting for. Missed it. Is that way? Can I <laughs> Keen grenade straight onto the bomb site. Doesn't land it though. Just tagged up from the left side. Should have dealt with Pucker. He was the man dealing the 
damage. So Infuse pick up their first round. 2-1 the scores. Out comes some lovely... Oh, God. They're laying out some love for 9mm. Why would you do that? Sidles taking the top spot. No, but oh, there is one. One gun towards street there. Care 6 takes him down. It was Rob. Looks like possibly a B push then since the scope didn't see anyone dashing across. Air 6 has got himself, got himself a situation in the street. Peeking round. I find myself leaning as well. That's that's not good. <laughs> I'm trying to look around the corners. Puny and Pucker are the last two standing there. Okay, a six. I'm gonna kind of E and re lean round. <laughs> Can't see, damn it. Pucker lying in front of the bomb. Okay, a six going. Look, see Taz does take down Pucker. Suddenly, Puny is the last man standing. He's in all sorts of trouble. He's only got a scope and a deagle to play with, and he's missed. Four of them shots already. Oh, goes in with a knife onto Zetas. Very nice. First, I don't swear that's the first knife I've actually seen outside the knife round. Been uh, very lax. I've got to say the knife's... <laughs> the Deagle. Kicking round. Bomb is loose. Now picked it up. He's got one to the right and one to the left. And that is it. So, at the moment, Game Limited putting up a good defensive round. Game Limited could well be a presence to maybe certainly take a couple of rounds off the uh, the big boys of the group, which is Fnatic and Reason Gaming. They are both playing right now as well. You can keep up with all the scores on crossfire.nu at the top. There is also a Twitter update uh, on there. As well, of course, Cadred and Tech9, they're all in effect with taking photos all over the shop. And... Uh, Lots of updates and groups and playoffs, etc. Some of the groups are starting to come to a close now. We've already seen uh, Next Century uh, top in their group with Impact second. Just spoke to George actually. George wasn't really happy that he, he kind of messed up on his uh, on his on his map picking because he'd, he'd sorted out so the games he wouldn't be playing Crossfire against Next Century and then things got moved around because teams weren't ready and then next thing he vetoed the wrong one and. It all went wrong for him. He wasn't happy. But that's George. I'm sure he'll cheer up. Wannabe being tagged up here. Just a wrong pucker. Just turned, walked straight into that wannabe did. Didn't even look at anything. Oh, and that's the eel. All too easy. All too easy and infused at the moment. <laughs> just, just changing the tires in the garage. It's an American way of saying garage, by the way. <laughs> garage. Cetaz pushing through, picked up two of the easiest frags he's going to get in this match, I believe. Rob getting tagged up by that grenade. Cetaz took it a few blips for his own use. Chenson on Pada. Covering the bomb site quite easily. Chaos 6 on a rush here, going to go around the backside, looking for the scopes. And infused at the moment, they must be stacked up around here somewhere. Takes a peek, just got a glimpse of one as they work their way in towards A site. There's another one just right in front of him. He's going to see him the moment he comes around the corner here. He's just to the left. He's been took down. Cross is there. Pucker and Puni both going down. And suddenly Rob and Wannabe are all on their own. Let's try and flick across. Rob's just got a kill. Wannabe in all sorts of trouble. He manages to take the frag down to care six. Seidel Sitas is the last man standing infused. Desperately trying to uh, pick up some rounds here. It's 4-1. 4-1 at the moment. And Rob sat there with an eagle, ready and waiting in the sniper house. This poor team is being berated by Lodi to the left of me here. They are sat watching the screen is just ripping the skills apart of Infuse and Game of Luton. I tell you what, they best damn well play pretty good after the abuse they're giving. <laughs> I tell you what, I won't be sitting in the garage. <laughs> oh dear. They're abusing them. Anyway, let's get back into it. The Belgium team of Game Limited and the British team of Infused keeping the stiff upper lip. <laughs> Booney taking down Chaos 6 there. Oh, that was the easy shot, Booney. Should have made that. 
Oh my word, he's missed two fairly straightforward shots. So hopefully this skill level, but Wannabe is there to clear up. And it is 4-3. Managing to pull back two rounds. Pulling it fairly respectable again. So here we go, game limited. Going outside, Lewis is going to be going for that opening frag. Smoke down quite early, which is good. Seatows with the opening grenade frag onto Puny. Seatows with a flash of his own onto Street. Passes around, catches a few tags in the back from Main Street there. Seidel's going into scope, looking towards B. Wannabe's picked up a frag. It's actually over in A's sight, and the scope of Seidel's was just looking over towards B, so maybe it's been maybe one slop sneaked around the street, but uh, the main infused team is certainly going in towards A sight. A sight, the bombs are in there. Chance for the grenade. Going out to Seidel. Seidel's down, Rob. That well, they've managed to pull it back to 4 4. God knows how, because Game Limited just seemed to have thrown it away. They were looking quite strong to start with, but it's a poor play in the last few rounds from Game Limited. Maybe a few too many drinks, I don't know. See taps with the grenade going out. Lands it again. Chenson this time. Rushing straight out, smoke out, pushes straight towards. Oh, he's, got, he's got two there as well. Two straight ahead of him. Just to peek around that corner. He's getting shot in the back by his teammate there. Throws the flash out, rolls it out. I think he missed, actually. He's got three ahead of him, so I'm going to stick with him. See Tess, he's got one coming around the wall. He's going to peek around any minute. There it is, nice easy shot for him. Puny going down on the car. They're going to know where he is straight away. Looks like one in Sniper House just above gone downstairs. They're going to be pushing round. He's going to get another come around the corner just in a second. Gonna be two there. Seatas is doing his best to hold them off. It was Rob and Wannabe. Rob does manage to take him down with the Deagle. Sidles and Padder remain the Sidles. Shutting out Wannabe. Rob flicking round, taking down Sidles to scope. And Padder, last man standing, is making a mad dash over towards the B site where the bomb is being planted. Explosives planted. There it goes. He caught a glimpse of him flashing across the walls, the left of stairs there. And Padder will pursue his way in. He knows he's around here. The question is, did he see him going upstairs? Will he draw him out with a diffuse? Will he go straight for the diffuse? He's got plenty of time. He doesn't need to push straight for a diffuse. Will he do it though? Edging to the left, edging to the right, looking in a diving, dodging and a weaving, but Rob's there and that is infused, taking the lead for the first time in this game. Rob going big in that round, I believe. Pulling out four, no, yeah, I was only four. Wannabe stole the frag at the start. Could have been an ace, could have been the first ace, but no, he fit. Not been an ace, not on a, not on a stream ace yet in this tournament. Not unexpected really, they're quite rare to see these days. C-Taz on Jensen, Rob immediately replying, Wannabe also on Padder. It's three on three, Chaos, oh that's an easy frag for him there, Wannabe just running straight in, not checking them corners. Puny and Pucker. As is often the case, last two remaining. Puny the scope. Gen generally is the scope. Nice shot there. Seidel's going down. That's the scope of Game Limited taking out. Chaos 6 and Cross versus Puny and Pucker. Puny tagged up. Puny tagged up again. Managed to duck out the way. Didn't see who it was by. It was Cross. And in the meantime, Pucker is trying his best to make a dash for it. Puny has been taken down now. But Pucker is all on his own, going to get the bomb plant in over at B. Suddenly, game limited, just to charge around, planted. cross just around the side. Well, that's going to be, didn't manage to get the frag, unbelievably. Tagged him down to next to no health. KS6 and Cross moving in on his position. KS6 coming from the le left, cross from the right, Pucker last man. Peeking through. He's going straight for the defuse. Where has. He gone and he's been shut down. Missed it. Missed Explosives it. Diffused. Rubbish. 5-5 five five, all square and infused. At the moment on the attack are keeping it clear and you'd think that's going to put them in a better position for the second round. Defense generally in a very loosest term is the stronger side. Seidel's 
going to hop into a position to see if he can get any scopes. He can't. Jensen's pushed right up the line. There's a matter of chaos six is there. Pada, peeking, hooker, on to cross, four on four. Pada getting tagged up as he heads towards B. Trying to defend. He knows someone's around plant room. There or thereabouts. Taking a peek. Actually, just on the main street. It is Rob. He's had a few big rounds so far. And that grenade lads on Pada. Trickles on in there. And I think Seidel's is just around the back side. I think they know it as well. The bomb is loose at the moment, just outside the entrance of B. Rob looking, finds Seidel's, comes around. One more man remaining. It was Chaos 6 is there. Wannabe suddenly last man standing. Oh, tagged up Chaos 6. Didn't manage to shut him down, though. He knew there was one there as well. Makes his way across. Picks up Bomb. Scoops it up. He's got two around him. Bomb just going to walk straight past. Oh, he should have taken him down there. Sh oh, shot in the back by KS6. Nice crossfire set up there. 6 5 to the game limited now. In the defensive side on strike. Feel loaded of being sold a, a, a slight false sense of the uh, European community here. <laughs> Bit of jet lag. Yeah, I won't go into stereotypes there or anything. When the Americans saying I just want to shoot some guns. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Oh, oh no, caught him, just didn't actually, no he did take him down, cross was there, Puny, Rob being tagged up, and infused in a little bit of trouble here, this could be 7-5 to game limited, they managed to draw it even at 5-5, looking in a good situation, but suddenly infused are facing a small deficit as the half approaches, Rob peeking, trying to find, where the hell Chaos 6 went? He was there a minute ago. Going for the wall bang, not happening. It was Cross actually that was being tagged up. Pucker's sat there just below, ready and waiting as well. I think Chaos 6 was in the shops. But if they're out there, why don't you just go for the bomb site? And that's exactly what they're going to do now. Oh, but it doesn't matter because Cross takes them both down. And that's 7 5 to Game Limited. Infused will not be happy with this. I suspect we're going to see a small delay before the half starts. Wannabe's going to be berating his team. I don't know, they've ready it up pretty quick. I'll let them off. No, I didn't indeed. Maybe they just don't care. <laughs> who knows? Maybe they're just thinking defence. We've got a strong defence, who knows? Game limited, though, at the moment leading the frags, as you'd expect. KL6 and CTAS picking up so many easy frags in that half that he probably doesn't believe his luck here. <laughs> yeah, this first game of the land, he's thinking, oh my god, this is easy. Oh, and there's Padder taking down Rob with a grenade frag. KS 6 on Jensen as they work their way in towards the A site. A, a site, the target. Oh, that's an easy one. In Wannabe just jumping out headlong into two AK 47s. Pucker has been. Taken down by Cross and Game Limited. Well, if you thought they got a good defence, they were sorely wrong because Game Limited are absolutely charging through their defences. And that is 8 5, first round of the second half going to Game Limited as the Belgian team build up a three round lead against the English slash Irish mix of Infused. Oh, Seidel's missing the shot there. Cross, good start. That's what they need. They need a little bit of luck to swing their way. Robin Puny taking out KS6 and Padder. And it's suddenly from a, a very close shot by Seidel's gone to a four on one situation for Infused. A three on one, uh, four on two, sorry. My maths, whenever the strongest point. Wannabe. Looking round. We're probably going to get a couple of words from Wannabe later. We'll probably have him cast in, so. I won't be too abusive towards him. <laughs> but Cetas and Seidel's 
This is a four-man team of Infused. You'd assume Infused would take this one, but this is COD 4 and don't assume anything. Seatas with the bomb, taking it steadily. Sidles with the scope. It's been eyeing up down the street. Looks like he may well pop into the house. Seatas trying for a few spots. There is actually someone in the garage, so he wasn't too... Wrong to be shooting there. That's Wannabe down. Spin around the left. Pick up a second. C test takes down Rob. It's back to a two on two. And suddenly it's looking like a chance. Puny though goes big. Picks off Sidles and C -Taz. That would have been completely through the smoke as well. Absolute prediction shot. And it landed. Eight for six. Infused. Take the first defensive round. Let's see how those grenades are going to go out this time. Really can deter how the round's going to layout and there's opening grenade frags with people just running into him trying to get into positions. CTAS got in quite early but Rob comes up behind and he's going to be thinking why the hell didn't Cross help shoot him before he got to my back. He came up and over that wall got KS6 as well. Oh and Chenson on Cross. It's a four on two once again but GL had a good go at it last time. It is Seidel's and Padder this time. Seidel's managed to land that shot. Puny managed to land obviously the two shots won the round. Pucker on Pada. Last man standing is the scope of Seidel's. He's got an AK-74U. He's not afraid to use it, but one of his there. And a timeout has been called. It's 8-7. As Infused slowly start to drag it back. I don't know what one of the Infused players have dropped, so that's why the uh, timeout was called. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, coming up after this it will be enemy territory action with Tosspot. He's uh, he's had a shot of adrenaline. He's he's ready to cast. He's been busy working away fixing computers for the last two days straight. He's the event organizer, so it's kind of expected. It's his event. It's his baby. It's going well so far. So well, wellish. Is it? It's an hour and a half behind. An hour and a half behind. That's not too bad considering there's 47 COD 4 teams and 38 ET teams, something like that. So there's a lot of teams either way. And the bar's getting hit pretty well, I think. People have decided to start moving now. At the moment, we're just waiting for this timeout period. Well, it looks like Infuse still missing a player. It is Wannabe that's missing. Empathy in front of me. What was your score? Have you uh, have you made it two wins on the run? No, no. Oh, it's looking depressing for empathy. Who did you lose to? Pentagram. Uh, P PGS. Yeah, Pentagram. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Well, uh, probably going to top the group. Although they did lose to Infinity, who may not be on loaners only. It it may turn out to be. As is always the case here in Europe, there's a lot of online-only clans that get bantered around. And at the moment, Infinity proving not to be the case, as they may well be topping that group. They've defeat, they defeated Pentagram, so that was, uh, I think it was the first game of the morning, actually. So at the moment, that is Group, uh, group B, I believe. Someone's stolen my pad. God damn it! Turn your back for five minutes and someone has your pad away. It's there. There it is. It's me. I stole it. I put it there. Thank you. So, yeah, Group B, Infinity Skills look like they're going to be topping that one with Pentagram second, I'm guessing, now. Since uh, Pentagram just beat Empathy. Empathy were hoping to storm the group, and that's not happening. Infinity Skills. Who are they going to be getting? They're going to be getting uh, your group, in fact. That's who you're going to have. Uh, no, you'll have second place. So you're probably going to be getting Pentagram if you top your group. This is loaded, I'm talking to. Or if you come second. It could well be Infinity Skills. Oh, well, uh, there may not be anything besides first place. You might say that if you finish second in the final and saying, give us our Euros. Yeah, yeah. I never said that. <laughs> So you're going to be getting either a Hungarian team or a Polish team. 
that's what we like to see in Europe. Oh, we're waiting for some problems still. There's a timeout period. It is, uh, yeah, it is Wannabe that's still missing. I think they're having some problems with their cobs. <sighs> you always laugh when, uh, when a team says we're having problems with their cobs. You're sat in a LAN with five people in a row, just shout louder. Don't understand the problem. we are back in so we shall return to the game it is game limited currently leading 8-7 against team infused infused caused many upsets in the past but at the moment it's looking like they might get upset themselves by game limited to be fair to Kleinman he predicted this one would be a close it was one of his recommendations on the casting schedule which was originally on the schedule God knows what time I'd originally put this down for, but I'm sure it was a little earlier than we're currently at. Tosspot wasn't actually happy with me saying things were running late. No, no, it's all on time. It's an event, Tosspot. It happens. He'll appear in a minute. It's out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, Infuse landed a couple of frags there, and suddenly Seidel's is thinking, where the heck did my team go? Rob, the only man down for infused oh, oh, oh Seidel's just got a glimpse of someone on top of bins there tried to flick down around look down the street could just got a shot oh nice shot onto puny that cheeky headshot onto the scope of infused there was someone on them bins a minute ago the bomb loose over in the a corner looking around he knows he's taking the sniper down picks up the AK-47 gets tagged in the back flicks around but Wannabe is there and that is all square once again 8-8 eight, eight. so Infuse pulling it back from three round deficit they'd built up from the attacking side and suddenly their defense is getting stronger they're sussing out game limited grenades at the start it's all about the grenades at the start again nobody oh well I say that Rob goes down to the grenade and Cetas also landing one of his own onto Wannabe, holding back that grenade rather than tossing it early. Smoke down on Statue, charging in, not going to happen. Pucker there, didn't check the corners, and cross on Chenson. Seidels comes around straight into Puny's shot. To be fair to him, I think Puny was probably firing at the man that went just ahead of him. KL6 is there, Bomb is on A, and I believe Plant going in as well. Pucker and Puny looking. Explosives. Look at that. Cross takes down Puny. Pucker manages to land one onto Pada. He knows he's got someone just up behind him. Didn't see him in the cross shop area. And that is 9 8. Game Limited regain their lead. And currently, Infused after predicting they're going to beat Reason, which is some big talk from uh, Wannabe. As always, it's not happening at the moment here in Enschede at the Wizard Gaming Center. KL6 with the opening grenade frag. Beacon round. Tosspot is back on the side. ET is next. Who will be playing? Dignitas versus MF. Versus New. Of course it is. New, yes. Yes, that well known team of ET. They are here. As you'd expect, because we're casting them here. <laughs> it is the ESL final, I believe. It is indeed the ESL final. So that's coming up straight after this match. You're finally going to get some ET on the stream because Tosspot's been that busy all day. Yeah. This is, this is a predominantly ET LAN. 9 8 at the moment. 3 2 infused. 
need to face another plant here from Game Limited. Fucker. Okay, six gets tagged up by Wannabe, but didn't go down. Oh, they're both coming from ex the same spot. That's not going to be good news. They could have done with the rotation round here. Puck is in all sorts of trouble. This is just going to dash in. Dive, duck, dive. Try his best. Duck, dive again. But Cross takes him down. Actually, I don't think he landed a single shot there. He was jumping around, spraying, but nothing happened. Fuse, after regaining the lead, have suddenly fell back into a 10 8 situation. And game limited from Belgium. Uh, looking the stronger team here on strike. It's a map that Infuse named. They said, we'll play strike. They were quite confident. Game Limited obviously knew they had a few tricks up their sleeve. Seidel's tracking Cetas on Jensen with the headshot. Infuse trying their best to pick them down. Puny does take down Pader at last. Oh, but a grenade immediately replied onto Wannabe. Cetas and Seidel's and cross remain for game limited and Rob and Puny with it all to do once again for Infuse to try and keep them in this game the first of the group stages remember Infuse have Reason Gaming first thing in the morning then Reason Gaming face Fnatic and at some point they're going to have Fnatic in there it could go very badly wrong for Infuse if they do not pick up the points in this round Got to admit, it's not looking good. It's looking good for the Belgians. Oh, but Cetas goes down. Rob on to Cetas cross, immediately replying though. Bomb planted by Seidel's the scope. And Rob with it all to do. He knows he's there, but he jumped up on the wall just at the wrong time. And Cross was ready waiting. 11 8 the score. This is surely game limited. Take victory. the enemy territory's players breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> they want a CET! <laughs> Puny on CTAS. Jensen and Infuse and they're picking up two frags early on in this round. Can they hold on to that lead? Count six in on Jensen in that shopping area down the main street. Reloads, peaks. Is looking. Finds the first man. Looks around the statue. Nobody in the sandbags around the statue. Looking for that scope of puny. Doesn't find him. Pucker is there, ready and waiting. And looking towards those shops. Can't see him though. <coughs> Rob also there. Puny scoping straight up. They're going to make that move in. Sidles is going to work his way in. Can switch across to Puny. He's oh, Puny's actually looking at B now. They might get in. They might well get in. Puny's turned around. Yes, indeed. There's a couple of shots goes through. Sidles takes down Wannabe, and now they're in on A. And with a three on three situation, gonna get that planted. Rob comes pushing through, takes down Sidles. Didn't see where he was. There he is, just popping, hopping around bins. Oh my word, Chaos Six is hitting everything but the player. If that wall is well decorated now with bullets. But Chaos 6 finally goes down to Puny and Infuse pulling it back. I don't know what the hell he means. It was like a silhouette around him there on the wall. <laughs> Where were you aiming? Not at the player, that's for sure. Wouldn't have happened if he'd used an Uzi. He'd have had him then from range, no problem. Sidles for the scope. Looking into A, bomb moving its way in towards A very quickly there. I think it's Chaos 6 with the bomb. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I lied. I can see the bomber behind him. Cross and Chenson getting tagged up. You can see one man in the left hand corner. That's where the tracer fire is coming from. It is Pada. Takes down Wannabe. Game limited. Look the way in. <laughs> Nearly shot his own teammate there. That could have been tragic. It was the bomb carrier as well, which kind of made it worse. But whoops! Pucker going looking. There's just a scope Explosive around here somewhere. Sidles. Oh, it's, it's going all sort of kinds of wrong for Infuse now. Knife. Yes! 
Pucker on sidles. I'm sure that felt good. That's for the second, didn't manage to land it, and that's gonna, oh, his teammate's been taken down. Now he's got a one on four situation. Not gonna happen, 12-9. It can only be a draw now for Infused. It is all gone wrong for them in this very first match. They were saying they were going to do big things this land. They were saying they were going to beat Reason Gaming. Duffer said no chance, of course, in Reason, but Wannabe was feeling confident, especially after uninstalling COD 4 from Duffer's machine. Oh, nice shot there from Seidel's. Sat waiting for Rob. Puny with a headshot on to Chaos, and it's going to be scope on scope action. And there's Cross taking down Pucker. This is all over for Infused here. This is going to be 13-9 in the very first match. Not the start they envisaged in this group when they already knew they had to face Fnatic and Reason Gaming in tomorrow morning. Game limited suddenly. Looking at a little bit of a danger. But you got to feel that Reason and Gaming Fnatic still are going to take it. Saw someone off in the distance. He just reloaded. And that is 13-9, game limited, and Infuse will not be happy with that. Looks like Wannabe's going to be casting a little earlier than he thought.